and another characteristic sets them apart. They make sounds that can be heard meters away. These noisy temper tantrums intrigue spider ecologist Dr. Tracy Churchill. Come on, don't you want to be a star? In Australia, they're also known as barking or whistling spiders because of the sound that they're generated, which is what we're trying to record here. Noisy they may be, but whistlers can be as temperamental as any diva when asked to perform on cue. Come back. That's it. Give us a song. Make the sound. Don't eat the microphone. I don't think it's that well known that these spiders make a sound at all. This sound feature is actually quite unique amongst the Australian spiders and it makes them quite special, certainly compared to those elsewhere in the world. Persistence pays off and Tracy manages to get her flying performance. Excellent. You go over there. When threatened, American tarantulas fire off stinging hairs, but the Australians generate a hissing sound by rubbing together their mouth parts. The sound that they generate, uh, we've only just started to analyse, and it varies between species. We think that the sound is a defensive sound to offend small mammals and most likely marsupials which would be significant predators to them and the frequency range is certainly consistent with that. We have one tarantula that makes a fantastic sound, certainly more melodic compared to a lot of the other species. There's a more trickling brook sound to it if you like. We have to be a bit guarded about where this particular spider's come from, uh, particularly now because of the pet trade and the interest people may have in removing these spiders from the wild. Mm -hmm.